Now, let's discuss this simple question that which has more dipole moment out of NH3 and NF3, which molecule has more dipole moment or higher dipole moment. So for solving this question, first we have to know that what is the structure of NH3. So here we can see that nitrogen is in the 15th group. So the number of valence electron in nitrogen is 5 out of which 3 are bonded with hydrogen and 2 electrons makes up a lone pair. So in the structure of NH3 we have 3 bond pairs and 1 lone pair which means the hybridization of nitrogen in NH3 is sp3 having one lone pair so if we look at the structure of uh, this molecule then sp3 with a lone pair looks just like that so here is our one lone pair and three are the bond pairs now this shape is known as pyramidal shape This is our pyramidal shape. Now, if we draw the dipoles of lone pair, so this will be towards the lone pair. And out of hydrogen and nitrogen, nitrogen is more electronegative. So this dipole will be towards the nitrogen. Again, for this bond, it will be towards nitrogen. Again, for this bond, it will be towards nitrogen. So we can clearly see that all these dipoles, they are aligned to, to a single direction. They both are upwards. So hence, all the dipoles, they have an additive effect. They are adding. Now, Let's consider our second molecule of NF3. Again, the central element is nitrogen. So again, we have five valence electrons. There are three fluorines and there is one lone pair. So again, the bond pairs are equal to 3 and the lone pairs are 1. Again, the hybridization of nitrogen is sp3. Now, if we try to draw the structure of this molecule, NF3 will have same structure as that of NH3. But here is an important observation. Now, if we try, try to draw the dipole moments, this lone pair will have a dipole moment upward, a dipole of in upward direction. But if we compare the electronegativities of nitrogen and fluorine, then fluorine is more electronegative. So for this bond, the dipole will be towards fluorine. Similarly, this will be towards fluorine. Similarly, this will be towards fluorine. Hence, the dipole, all the dipoles, they don't have any additive effect. Fluorine is basically more electronegative than nitrogen. More electronegative than nitrogen. Hence, the dipoles basically subtract. Hence we have subtraction in the dipoles in this molecule. So we can clearly see that this NH3 molecule where all the dipoles are aligned in a same direction, this will have more dipole moment as compared to 
NF3. So NH3 has more dipole moment as compared to NF3. This is a very important question for competitive exams. I hope you like the video and if you like it, please share it.